Thanks for watching Outdoors Del Marva. I'm Mike Parker. Well, you know, in the movies, the fly fisherman is often portrayed as a loner, someone who's content to just stand and say a trout stream all day long without another care in the world. And there are plenty of guys out there just like that. But up in Lewis, Delaware, there's a group of saltwater fly anglers who aren't only social, but they're anxious to share their hobby and sport. Even in a mild winter like we've had so far, business at local tackle shops tends to slow to a crawl. But at Lewis Harbor Marina, there's still a pulse. And uh, it's a, a get-together we do every Saturday morning from 9 o'clock till noon at, in the marina uh, of the Saltwater Fly Anglers of Delaware, our fly club. We meet in Thai flies. What started off as a couple of guys popping into the shop on a Saturday to keep a friend company while they worked has now grown into a full-on gathering of guys and gals complete with pastries. Sometimes I think we're more of a donut club than we are a fly tying club, but uh, it's uh, an opportunity to, to see what other people are doing fly tying and just to talk about fishing in general. And There are a lot of people that, that would like to get into it and uh, haven't really uh, found somebody to get them started. And this is a good way to just show up and watch and eventually somebody will hand you advice and you can, it's very easy to start. Well, basically what I did is just, I just basically tied a clouser uh, fly, but I tied all the material on the inside of the gap of the hook and I tied the bucktail on first and then I tied uh, some flashaboo on and some crystal flash, and then the fish finished off with bucktail again, and just whip finished the head. I'm tying a uh, shrimp pattern. Uh, it's fr uh, made basically from epoxy, and the uh, shrimp itself is ideal for just about anything that swims in the Delaware water. It sure does look like a shrimp. I guess it does quite well. And the, oh yes, they say all you need is a little, a little sauce. <laughs> Most members of the saltwater fly anglers of Delaware keep busy on the water from spring all the way through the holidays. But when the new year begins, the second part of the hobby really kicks in with Saturdays here at the shop. Tying, teaching, and learning. Discovering new designs and new techniques. Okay, we brought some molted feathers. They molt their whole body every year. And I've had him for 11 years, and so rather than throw them away, I always save them for things like this. I do arts and crafts with them. We, we can use these feathers to make these shells for the crabs. I, I've been tying these crabs with pheasant feathers. Now we can use those co the colored feathers on top. As we've seen in our stories from the past, saltwater fly fishing in itself is a break from the norm and altogether different from the traditional freshwater method. But the challenge of the gear and the more sensitive feeling from a bit line is enough to keep these guys hooked. So this winter spent tying flies is fueled by the anticipation of a new spring spent fishing them. But the fly fishing just adds that extra little bit of excitement to it. And it just makes it a lot more fun. You can make your own lures. What else would you want to do on a Saturday morning in this? Get outdoors, Delmarva!